If you are a college student or plan to attend college in the near future, you need to watch this video because we are going to be going over some shocking statistics about college majors. You will learn the most popular majors, the highest earning majors, and the most regretted majors. So stay tuned to see if your current major or future major made the list. Let's start with the most popular college majors, and this is according to USA College. History's number 10, Literature and English, nine. Number eight, Liberal Arts and Sciences, and also General Studies and Humanities. Seven is Accounting. Six, Criminal Justice. Five, Teacher Education. Four, Biology. Three, Nursing. Two, Psychology. And one, Business Administration and Management. Now that you know the most popular, let's take a look at the most regretted college majors as stated by graduates. Number five, anthropology. So the average starting salary is in the mid 30s and only 35% of graduates recommend this. History ranks number four on the most regretted with a high 30s starting salary and only 33% of people who graduated with this degree recommending it. Number three on the list, visual communication. Average starting salary, mid to high 30s, only 29% recommended, which means over 70% don't recommend this major. Number two, social science. Average starting salary, mid to high 30s, only 28% recommend. And what is number one, you ask? Journalism. Only 27% of graduates who majored in journalism said they would recommend this major to other people. So now that we learned maybe majors to avoid if you want to prevent regrets, let's look at some of the highest earning majors. Now just take a quick glance. All you see is engineering. If you are good at math and science and you want to go into engineering, take a look at this list and maybe it can help you decide which kind of engineering you want to go into, especially if you're very financially motivated. But what about the rest of us? <laughs> that don't want to be engineers. Take a look at the highest earning non-engineer majors. Again, most of them, math and science. Physics and mathematics, applied mathematics, physics, computer science, just basic engineering, government, physician assistant studies, finance and real estate, economics, and biochemistry and molecular biology. And you can take a look at the average salary and then the mid-career. So whenever you're about halfway through, probably in your 40s and 50s, how much you'll be making. Now we know the highest. We got to see what the lowest is. Let's take a look at the 20 lowest paying majors. Again, this is only with a bachelor's degree. So a lot of these individuals can make more money if they go on and get an advanced degree. We're going to start at 20 with the highest paying of the lowest paying and go all the way down to number one. Zone 20 is athletic training, then parks and recreation management, health services administration, special education, art teacher education, theology, culinary arts, horticulture, pastoral ministries, Bible studies and theology, and elementary education. Followed by youth ministry, human development and family studies, therapeutic recreation, social work, and the bottom five are human services, child development, early childhood and elementary education, child and family studies, and early childhood education, which is a major that in your mid-career, you will still not be making over $37,000 a year. So you can take a look and see some trends here with the lowest paying. But money isn't everything. So next, we are going to be looking at the most fulfilling college majors, as stated by graduates. So the 15 most fulfilling majors are Medical Laboratory Science, Pastoral Ministry, Physical Therapy, Practical Nursing, Physician Assistant Studies, Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Exercise Physiology, Nursing, Respiratory Therapy, Therapeutic Recreation, Community Health Education, Dietetics, Dental Hygiene, Environmental Health and Safety, and Food and Nutrition. And you can take a look at the average salary that 
all these professions and all these majors make. We are now going to look at the percent of people who are employed in a similar field as their major. So if they actually found jobs in a related field. The majority of students majoring in health, business, science, math, and technology did find work in related fields. So 79% of graduates who majored in a health or medicine major are working in that field after graduation. 70% of business majors are working in some sort of business field after they graduated. And 69% of science, math, and technology majors are working in a related field. Next, let's take a look at the percentage of students who are working in an unrelated field to their major. The majority of students majoring in social service, social science, arts and humanities, and interdisciplinary studies found work in unrelated fields after graduation. Only 48% of students who graduated in public and social service stated that they are working in a related field after graduation. So over 50% are working in an unrelated field. Only 46% of social science majors are working in a related field after graduation. And even less than that, only 39% of arts and humanities majors are working in a related field post-graduation. That means that 61% are working in a field that is completely unrelated to their major and their schooling. And for multi or interdisciplinary studies, which are students that can pick multiple areas to study to get a bachelor's degree, only 38% of these graduates stated that they work in a related field post-graduation. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you are really happy with the major you chose because it was on one of the list, or maybe you're questioning your major a little bit because it was on a list that you didn't like so much, this is just a starting point. Everything's based on just general statistics. It's not true for everybody, but it is very important just to be aware. Now, everything that I talked about in this video was taken from the book, You, You, Unconventional Advice for Success in School and Life. So if you want more information about picking your right major, preparing for a career, and just general tips on how to make your college experience a success, I'll leave the link below so you can check it out on Amazon. I also have another video with tips on how to pick your perfect major. So if you're questioning your major, you don't really, if you're so undecided, go ahead and check that out. All right, so I wish you the best of luck and I will see you next time.